<laughs> it's an Ethan Eats episode. <laughs> You're literally the worst possible time for you to shove something in your mouth. I, I didn't even see it. What was it? It's a granola bar, Griffin. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. No, hell yeah. Well, welcome, everybody, to uh, a KLC Press community live stream here. Event. Event. It is a celebratory evening. Um, tonight, Mr. Ryan Stegman is here. Hello, Ryan. You're looking very Hi. tan. Um, just based off of, you know. I'm trying to fix my camera, everybody. We'll see what happens here. But... <laughs> we might not. It might be, you know, he's Spider-Man. He hangs upside down all the time. Yeah. You know, we're used that's, to seeing him upside down. For. Yeah, it's, it's everybody's. It's, it's everybody's favorite a pair of bulky disembodied arms, Ryan Stegman. <laughs> uh, apparently, there are some issues happening with OBS, mm -hmm. uh, so Ryan's face will not be seen this evening. Uh, unless but we are going to see, it. unless he fixes it midstream, we'll see. If anybody happens to know what might be going on here, I know we have some fellow, some fellow YouTubers, streamers in the chat. If anyone has any experience, please uh, let us know. Uh, but we're here, Ryan, uh, as I said, is drawing Spider-Man. In fact, specifically the superior Spider-Man oh, sure. uh, as 2023, the year of our Lord, the year that we are in right now, uh, is in fact the 10 year anniversary of the character of the book. Uh, the book that I think, Ryan, would you say is is the thing that like really catapulted you uh into yeah i mean fortune <laughs> mm -hmm. into Pretty, working with us it was it was certainly <laughs> the first time that i that i really understood like how much uh of an audience there is in comics mm. how big it is yeah. um yeah 10 years a whole decade it's pretty crazy we um we've kind of talked about it a little bit here on the show before but the book is i think so important um mm -hmm. Not only in the history of Spider-Man, as it's it's you know one of the best Spider-Man stories ever, uh, and certainly you know a strong contender for the best one of this century, um, mm -hmm. and it's also very very special in particular for Ethan and I. Uh, I don't know if we would be here today without the Superior Spider-Man bringing this stream to you guys. I mean, we we literally wouldn't. We never would have met it's true uh it, it's it and seems like dead. an unlikely event <laughs> we would be dead we would have been like i can't believe they haven't done this already I'm we would have been we out. would have been dead in two separate alleyways doing two different <laughs> types of drugs <laughs> at, <laughs> at 14 years old when we, yeah yeah when this book came out we pulled each um, other right off those paths yeah. Well, folks, I, I'll let you know, we were trying to pull something off you tonight. We were trying to see if the one and only Dan Slot was going to be able to join us tonight. He's away on vacation, it seems, so um, we'll see. I mean, There's it was a, good that I gave him a whole day of uh, heads up. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we'll see. We're hoping that uh, no matter what... Um, you know, sometime in the near future, we hope to get Dan in here and we can have mm -hmm. a real Superior Spider-Man uh, sort of reunion chat. And who knows? Maybe we can get a maybe we get some more folks from the book on there. Does whatever does everybody else that worked on that book speak English as a second language? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, you got Giuseppe and Umberto, mm -hmm. uh, Delgado. Um, but uh, either way, we're super excited to be here with you guys once again. It's been Whoa. a couple. Of... Oh, oh, oh yeah. there he is! Oh my, that <laughs> looks great. Is it is it ironing itself out? Oh my god! Oh, there he is, everybody. Chains uh, in doing the yet? chat. We have um, chains in the chat. We have a a whole lot of comments coming in. Like we, of course, have. We have guests coming into the green room. There's a few comments I definitely wanted to mention. Uh, this one was really nice from Snug Scorpion 87 that says, Hey guys, been binging the Amazing Friends podcast these past few weeks. I have a whole new appreciation for y'all and a deep seething hatred for Chip Zdarsky. Uh, 
That's appropriate. We recorded mm-hmm. with Chip earlier today, an episode of Matthew Rosenberg's podcast, it's Ideas terrible. Don't Bleed. It's it was so really rough, and that's why we're so low energy now, is because we like had he to sort it. of get over an emotional void after the energy, the, the energy vampire, I believe, is what that's called. Right. But yeah, definitely go um, binge through Ideas Don't Bleed next because that's another great show featuring our. Yes. Oh, and he's in the chat. The man himself, <laughs> Jim Satarski, says, Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> you get in here. Get in here. I got doesn't it. look like it. He's, he's not into it. He doesn't want to. The guy can't get that's enough fine. of us. He's uh, looking to hang out just a little bit more. We already put in two hours today, but he's like, it's kind of fun. He can't deny it. Ethan and Griffin are live? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I'm changing up the theme here. What do you guys think of this uh, nice... Uh, I'm trying to get to a, a like red color. Works. There we go. Woo! Yeah, the, the, that's good. That's good. Wow, Ryan. the frame rate is crazy on, on the, yeah, what the happened? hand cam. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, there he is. <laughs> Ryan, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see the boys. I just want to congratulate you on, on 10 years of Superior Spider-Man. Congrats. Uh, doing nobody it. thought you'd be doing it all this time. You did it. I never, re- I never read it. I'm assuming from the title, it's about like a white supremacist Spider-Man. I don't know. It's kind um, of a thing that you love. Um, no. Not... no, no, no. Okay, all right. No, no. We wouldn't. We wouldn't be celebrating that anniversary. Um, that's I not mean, what we're about here. It's like, well, I mean, Ethan, we talked earlier. You're a big fan of Dilbert, so. Um, <laughs> I kind of thought that's what, where we were going with this, but right, that's fine. I should. I do love to consider that, like I the situations have absolutely where we drawn Dilbert today. Oh, you really should have, boy. The, the superior, superior Dilbert. Dilbert. <laughs> you should have done. You should have done a, uh, a Dilbert like Craven's Last Hunt, like Spider Man coming from the grave. And it's, it's Dilbert <laughs> just oh, just God. reaching up I'm for his his right wing Twitch stream or whatever he's going to be doing now. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea of like a super villain, a classic super villain like Craven or Doctor Octopus. Or uh, you know, they're going all the way with with their schemes and their master plans, but mm-hmm. of course they're against white supremacy though. So then, like Doc Ock has, has to take a moment to be like, "Hey, no, that's not." I'm the that's the dark guy. That's not. <laughs> Come on now, man. I know uh, I'm trying to uh, explode the city with like a like a miniature sun right now, but that's too much. Check yourself. Check yourself. Uh, Jose Check Ramos that. wants to know when is Chip and Ryan going to do a collabo? Just this, that, this, is it. this is <laughs> it. This is the collab. This is the collaboration. If you know wow. the amount of times that Chip has begged me like a dog, yeah, that, to work with him. That is true. I've uh, I've licked his face. <laughs> I've pissed on his shoes, all the things a dog would do for attention. Mm-hmm. And yet Ryan's just like, nah, I'm I'm busy. I've got live streams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's got Two live idiots. streams to do upside down. You're upside down again, Ryan. I know, because when I turn the other camera on, it's it's glitching, right? It didn't it's not it glitching for you? No, it seemed fine. Oh, when I'm what I'm seeing is like insane. It's like uh it's glitching all over the place. No, you look good. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah, thought it wasn't great. working. You got like a nice, like sort of canted angle thing happening. It makes you look a little unhinged, but uh, that's all right. That's appropriate, I think. <laughs> Ryan, is I have my, a, I'm, is sorry, it? I have it a, so, hold on. Let me ask you something. Is this my? Yeah. Am I holding up my left hand right now with the pen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So everything's working for you guys. It's just not for me. All right. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead, Chip. Ask your dumb question. Ryan, I just ask your dumb I mean, question. <laughs> Ryan, I just wanted to know, um, how did you actually get the job drawing Superior Spider-Man? Like, uh, did you did you know what the the storyline was going to be uh, well ahead oh, of time? Have I told you this before? No. Uh, so I did um, one issue of Spider-Man. I did issue six sixty seven, I believe, or six sixty five. Six sixty five. There you go. And uh, and it was because. Um, they had another artist, and he dropped out. So it was just like they needed somebody. Who was the I artist? Just, uh, I can't say that. <laughs> oh, you can, yeah, I mean, it was ten years ago. You can say it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Paulo Rivera. Okay. I don't know yeah. why he dropped out of it, but he he just wasn't doing it. And 
so I was, my son Oliver had just been born mm -hmm. and uh, like literally I was in the hospital. I hadn't checked my email all day. And then at the end of the day, I checked my email and I had an email from Steve Wacker asking if I'd do an issue of Amazing Spider-Man, which was like my lifelong goal was to just mm -hmm. do Amazing Spider-Man, right? Yeah. So you left but your wife and child. I said, no, I won't do it. <laughs> no, I said, of course I will do that. And uh, I then did that one issue and Slot really liked it. And oh. he was like, um, can we keep working with this guy? And then what? but you know there wasn't like an open spot on the book at the time and uh wacker asked me what i wanted to work on and i was like well this and he's like well it's not available and then he gave me so he he gave me um uh scarlet spider um because he knew you know i wanted to draw spider-man stuff yeah and then i did that and they asked me to leave to do fantastic four Oh. And I was kind of, I was kind of waffling, honestly. Like, I mean, I know that Hickman's run was great, but I was really enjoying Pen, uh, Scarlet Spider. Yeah. So I said, Steve was like, ah, it's probably, you know, it's it's a it's a big deal, you know, it's his la his last issues, um, you know, you should take it. And I said, well, if I take it, I want to do some more Spider Man after. Yeah. And he kind of acted like, ah, oh, we'll see. And then uh, like. Whacker. A little bit into me working on um fantastic four like maybe during my third issue he he called me he's just like i did it you're on spider-man <laughs> and i did uh, it i fired whoever was drawing spider-man <laughs> taking the food from their mouths and their children's yeah. mouths uh and then i so that's all i knew i was just like yeah you're gonna be on amazing spider-man when you're done with uh with fantastic four i was like cool yeah. great perfect and then i was at c2e2 and i was talking to cb and he was just like oh yeah it's gonna be so cool you know with uh, with you relaunching a number one or whatever and i was like what? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about and uh he was like oh like he kind of i think he didn't he maybe wasn't supposed to be the one that broke that news or didn't yeah, realize yeah. that i didn't know so I was like oh just talk to slot you know and uh so dan and me and cullen bun and uh tom brennan i remember went out to to dinner at lou malnati's in chicago wonderful pizza place hmm. and um dan just started laying out the whole story he told us told me everything loudly yeah. by the way yeah um, <laughs> in a place that could have been completely populated with comic book fans uh and i was just like completely i was i couldn't believe what was happening just because <laughs> i had no idea you know, like I did not know. I, I was just excited to be on Spider-Man, not knowing it was going to be, you know, he was going to die and then they're going to do this. Best. I mean, he told so he told me the whole story yeah. in one go and it was incredible. So I knew like I, I, again, wasn't prepared for when they did do the part where he dies, that people were going to lose their minds. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, go crazy because I was like, because in my head, I'm like, I know the whole story. It's awesome. Like, it's yeah. it's great. You know, he's not gone uh, per se. Yeah. And uh, so then uh, that was a whole other experience was seeing a book that people really cared about and seeing how crazy they were going. And then, you know, I just produced it and, and uh, you know, got yelled at at conventions a little bit. But then. <laughs> it was like it was like after the second issue came out everybody was like okay i was wrong it's good i love it you know and it's always surprising to me when uh people who have grown up reading serialized entertainment and they don't realize <laughs> that there's going to be another part to the story and maybe things aren't as they seem <laughs> yeah and this one specifically like peter was never peter was never fully gone and it was also no. an exploration of peter it wasn't yeah. like you know, I mean, I get. I, I guess if you just get the the thing where, and Dan was masterful at screwing with people. Like he kept oh, yeah. saying, <laughs> or do it. he was like, he, he would be like, he's dead. Oh, he's we... never ever coming back ever. Yeah, <laughs> and you can fuck yourself yeah. if you think. <laughs> well, that was that. So I got announced on the book, or I did. I did a New York Comic Con when I had been announced on the book prior to it coming out, I believe. And he's up there, and he's doing this thing. He's like. It's gonna be dark and gritty. We're taking it back to the streets and all this stuff. 
and people, you know, I was reading the blogs and they're like, oh, not this again, you know, like, oh, you know, yeah. and, and then um, people were like, they're just trying to make Spider-Man Batman. So then when we got back, Dan was like, we need to do something with a spider signal, like a bat <laughs> signal in the sky. So issue, the issue three cover is that it's the, it's the yeah. spider signal in the sky. And then in that issue, we blow that thing up and you know, get rid of it. But it was just solely to mess with people. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's, like, uh, one of the, uh, I, I, last year, maybe a year before, I was rereading a lot of Captain America comics. And it was like the Mark Grunewald era. Mm -hmm. And and uh, the issues I was reading had the letters pages intact. You know, sometimes they're not there on Marvel Unlimited or whatever. Yeah. And it was during the period where, you know, Steve Rogers stops being Captain America and John Walker takes over. And the letters were just the most vicious things I've ever read. <laughs> Everyone I hated it. They would print them too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I think they were always good at like printing like uh, the cross section, like uh -huh. what the percentage was. Like once in a while there'd be like a, a letter saying, hey, this is cool. Or, or like they'd love it for the wrong reasons kind of thing. Like, I love this Captain America. He murdered someone. <laughs> um, but like for the most part, like people just were so incensed with it. And I find that just so funny now because everyone looks back on it as like one of the best runs of all time. And they made a mm -hmm. TV show out of it. Like everyone looks back on that and loves it. And Batman okay. Year One was the same where people, all the letters coming in were just like, I don't know what the fuck this is. This is the garbage. I'm like, yeah, you oh can never God. pay Batman attention year to what's one. coming in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's so funny. I, had, I, I would love to read those. Yeah, both both sides of the thing of like of either being like, why would you kill this character, or the other side where you see people responding to news that a character's died of like, well, they're just gonna bring him back, and it's like both yeah. answers are yeah, but like it's about <laughs> the story that's going yeah. on. It's so insane to me. Yeah, yeah. I hate. I mean, I hate. I hate any kind of like. I hate almost all comics PR, um, <laughs> just because it it always plays with that and tries to spoil things for people and just gets people angrier because mm -hmm. they think they know where the story's going. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the bat, the bat signal, spider signals, just a stroke of genius. Well, that was also <laughs> when he, he did, he called me and he's like, hey, um, I'm going to say this thing on Twitter. And he's like, don't, just don't like, a, you know, don't say react. anything because if you do, you know, it'll kind of, people will understand that, you know, I'm, I'm faking it. Yeah. And he wrote back and he said, he said something like, uh, you know, Miguel's eyes move, you know, X like, like this. Cause nobody knew who the new Spider-Man was going to be. And then he said, DM me when you get this. And he left it up for about two minutes. And oh, I forgot about that. And yeah. all his yeah. blogs yeah. started running it. Um, and yeah, they, they all thought that, uh, 2099 was the new Spider-Man. That was the genius. way the way he interacted good. with readers is uh, it seems in, insane, especially by today's standards. Um, <laughs> I think he, maybe I, I can't remember if if I heard this. It had to have been like a story that he told somewhere at some point, but it was like at a con, and a a really small child came up to him and was so upset <laughs> that Peter Parker had died, and was like, "Is he really dead?" And Dan's like. <laughs> Yeah, he's really dead, and he's not. <laughs> Jesus <coming> Christ! <laughs> uh, that rules. I want to. Here's a really good question it. from Next Issue okay. Podcast in the chat. Ship, which character is your favorite one that you have killed in comics? I mean, can, I haven't uh, really. Danny's here. I'm going to bring him and a couple of other people in yeah, for this good. answer, yeah. including. Brian and Danny and Steve. Yo. We're going to start with these three, and then we're going to go. We're going to try and keep it minimal here i haven't killed any i don't think i have i mean i killed um mike murdoch <laughs> um which was which was fun because like i mean i kind of had to like reintegrate him into the continuity a bit more in order to do it like you kind of have to right. build up the character to kill him off like i haven't really killed off like a major character um, I think mostly because I know that whole thing, like they're going to come back. But like, if you kill someone like Mike Hardock, like, oh, he's probably not coming back. Yeah. <laughs> or if he does, it'll be in like, you know, 10, 15 years when somebody has nostalgia for the character. You should have done it like one issue later and been like, 
He's <laughs> back. <laughs> I, kind of, I kind of, I kind of debated doing that actually. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really go to that, you know, well too often. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe well, I, I, I feel know. like it kind of got fatigued. People got fatigued by it. But the interest that, that's what was I thought was cool about the Superior Spider-Man thing was it was a completely different way to kill a character and yeah. bring them back at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's you know uh, alluding to the uh, you know Captain America run. It's a it's a classic way to make people fall back in love with the original character. Like Batman books did it with Azrael as well. Mm -hmm. Like you know, take the main character out of commission, bring in somebody who like you think you're getting what the reader wants. Like they wanted a darker Spider-Man, you know, they want a darker Batman or Captain America, and then you show that no, that's actually not what you want. <laughs> Well, Chip, don't you, a, write a, don't you write a book where people die and then come back two seconds later? This is true. This is true. That's how much I hate killing people. I have a book where people can't <laughs> die. Um, there's that issue of superior, which uh, actually, well, first, let me say hi to our uh, to our friends here. Uh, Ryan, what's up? Danny, hey what's up? Steve, how are hey you? Hey, guys. Hey. So. How's everyone doing? It's been a minute since we've been able to chat. We've been busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll say that. They've been yeah, busy on the Discord. I noticed that. I see that. I see that all the time. Also, chatting. got this little, uh, ooh, oh, little hell segment yeah. today. Sorry, Chip. I don't think I got any books for you this week. No, nothing came oh. out this week. You're fine. But, but that next Batman. I know you don't need <laughs> to hear it as a Batman writer, but like, it's really good. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't Especially actually talk to a human being, so it's nice to actually hear that. <laughs> Especially the backup story. Like, I'm so interested in that backup story right now. The uh, Tim Drake one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's my oh, favorite cool. Robin, so, like, yeah. it's all, it really helps to add to that, so. Yeah, I mean, like, it's funny. When I took on the title, they were like, oh, who do you want to have write the backups? And I'm like, me. <laughs> like, come on i'm not sharing this with anyone i guess that's what they do with the backups but uh but i'm like no i want to like i want backups that relate to the main story as much as possible and i want to keep all the money <laughs> that's how it is. so i can afford all my beautiful art on my walls <laughs> an even larger flogging stick yeah, it's a, it's, yeah, that's just a that's just like a piece of baseboard, like quarter round that uh, I'm just never going to install. So it's just mm -hmm. propped up in the just corner. Gonna, just gonna hang out there. Yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. Again, we we talked about this. We did Matthew Rosenberg show earlier today. The background sort of reflects the uh, the individual in some cases. Ryan's Ryan's is so scattered. It's so messy. Look at him over there. But you know what? There's a lot of gold. It's also, it's also dark. There. It's very it's well, it was over. It's warm. Griffin came over to do the whatnot with me, and he started picking up my office because I could tell I was stressing him out so much. Dude, <laughs> walked in there, and there's just like a page of Vanish. Like I stepped on a page of Vanish. I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck is this doing here?" <laughs> Amazing. Are you are you so, a tidy person, Chip? Um, I go through periods. Like, uh, right, yeah. Over the past few years, I realized like I do better work when I. And tidy when I just kind of keep things orderly. So my studio back in Toronto is, you know, is pretty good. But like the difference between me and my wife is my wife is super messy. Like mm -hmm. she doesn't leave stuff, and I'm always having to pick up stuff after her. Uh, whereas I'm not messy, but I don't do the the deep clean. Like right. she likes to do the deep clean. So like my, my studio will look really nice, but then if you like drag your finger along a part of it, you'd be like, oh, this is disgusting, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I need to I need to get clean. Um, well, real quick, we're gonna we're we're gonna do like three people at a time here because Ethan's internet is dog shit, and uh, he says that it keeps crashing not, every time we bring in a bunch of. It's his internet. It's fine. It's um, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Blame. it's great for everybody else, but it's, whatever. Mm -hmm. Are those paint markers? Right. Computer. Time to yeah, get a computer. Oscar. Posca paint markers. Yeah, they're really nice. Yeah, he's great. been loving them recently. Yeah, you're all over the place with them. Yeah, I really do. I'm having a blast using them because you you know filling in a bit. I don't. This is not the normal way I work, so it's fun to kind of experiment and fill yeah. in this area and then go in and detail it. 
do you get a lot of superior spider-man like you know people coming up at cons and asking for it or how often do you get to draw him specifically not a lot anymore but i'm sure over the years i've drawn hundreds of them for people yeah uh sean's in the chat saying we're just stepping on vanish yes <laughs> did yes. you so, ryan did you ever have like when you were working with dan um, did you have any input into story stuff? Like, was there was there any kind of collaborative part of it? Uh, he'd ask me, you know, do you like, do you want to, you know, what characters do you want to draw and stuff? But mostly okay. he, Dan is like, a, he's like a, has the whole thing in his head. So, yeah. and he call, you know, he's he's similar to Donnie in that way where he will call you and he'll just talk and he, it's like, it seems like he has it all worked out, but he's actually working it out while he's talking to you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean. It, to some degree, I guess I'm as a sounding board. I've had input, but mm -hmm. it, you know, it it was it, most of Superior Spider-Man was all there to begin with. Yeah, and was he he was giving it to you kind of Marvel style, or was it full script? Uh, I mean, I he he does do um, he does the first pass with like very little dialogue. It's just like, and they say you know, they you know puts like little bits of dialogue. Yeah, and and it's like very loose, but it's not it's not full Marvel style. It's it's still got breakdown. Like a, like a hybrid. And, then, and but he will he would do you know the action sequence thing where he's like, all right, Ryan, go nuts. Here's yeah. where we need to get to. Like the there's a scene since these guys are all nerds, they'll know, they'll remember specific scenes when <laughs> Peter's chasing the vulture through the sky, um, and I have like this pa double page spread where he goes up up up, and mm -hmm. then he chokes him and we got him like we have a splash page and i got to choreograph all of that and create it oh, that's, sweet. that's fun yeah, yeah I, li I like working that way I, I did that the first time i did that was with chris Anka on star lord where he just had that request he's like um let me choreograph the scenes and so i would like i would give him the start position and the end position and a couple of bits of dialogue so yeah it was really fun to see him do it but it was really hard to dialogue after the fact i found I'm just yeah, like, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to find spots to put balloons. I'm like, oh, does it even need it? Like, is it does it ruin the rhythm? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Because I've tried to write whenever I've written stuff myself, I actually end up liking to script it all out ahead of time. Because once I try to go dialogue something that I've drawn, I feel like I'm, I'm like, wait, what was I thinking here? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. It's Ryan. A, that's pretty good. Um, it's nice to see that we're not the only babies. When Superior came out, Aiden says that they were nine when Superior oh, dropped. <laughs> Jesus. Um, oh, uh, my. I, Carter Presents, also surprised it's been 10 years. We were, what, 14? Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. I, I was oh, at a college, boy. but that, that was one of my, like, out of my <laughs> first pull list, that was one of the five that I put on there. Yeah, uh, that was the uh, first book that I ever uh pull they open the pull yeah so then i could, um, I could it was get a that, nice yeah. jumping on point like you just yeah. read 700 and then read number one no, i remember when it came 30. out i was like yeah i was like a, i was i was pretty young i was 37 years old so like, it, it hit me it was like it was like one of those formative ages where like a, a book a run will really stick with you yeah, I was dirty and I had a kid, you. so I was like, I don't even know what this shit is, what comic books are right now. This kid was six, six. <laughs> wow. Six when it started. Welcome. Uh, old Tyler Jenna's 13. Oh, boy. Um, yeah, our uh, Jedi folks... saying he wasn't even reading comics back then. How old would our Jedi have been? Seven. A newborn. Seven yeah. Or something like that. yeah that's so <laughs> weird you're like i mean uh you are to them is like i don't know like ron friends was to me yeah I, <laughs> yeah weird. i thought about that before because it doesn't it never feels that way when you're doing yeah. this stuff because like it feels like you should know that you're that to somebody but you yeah. can't no you can't <laughs> tell much later when you're and then if they told you that you'd be like yeah right yeah yeah, it only really hits you when it's uh, decades later and you're desperately trying to keep your home by doing uh, <laughs> convention sketches. Well, when, I, when I'm when i like, oh, I'll do anything. Uh, let's bring Superior Spider-Man back. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> is what the fans want. <laughs> um, Ryan, do you have a, 
a favorite issue? Um, ooh, that's a good question. There was the one where they, I can't remember what issue number it is, but they go into like the, the mindscape and you see um, Doc uh, Ock up in the sky. Nine, I yeah, I think it was nine. And I did the, uh, that wasn't in the script, the Dr. Octopus like head in this in the clouds. Uh, nine is where you guys like double down where it's like oh peter will come back sometime though right and then nine is where like they literally have the <laughs> mind fight and he goes out of his way to like kill peter parker again pretty much right. and it's like now nah, mm -hmm. he's super gone and then <laughs> yeah. there's that stretch of issues where he's he's just not there at all uh that great is pretty good yeah, yeah. it's pretty fine I love this um the super presumptuous question from Blazer in three thirty. It says, "Do Ryan and Matthew fight for supple time?" Uh, on the contrary, they they both try to pawn us off on the other one. They're like, "Who's we got the boys this avoid week?" Them. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Bendis is the only one that wants to hang out with us. The boys this week. Yeah, Bendis yeah, wants yeah. to hang out with you. What the yeah, hell? He's, what can not, I say? he's he's much he's much nicer than you guys. <laughs> well, Bendis <laughs> says he wants to hang out with them. There's yeah, a difference between uh, hanging out and saying that, like, oh yeah, we should get dinner sometime. Like, never happens. Oh, he does say that a lot. Fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's always like, <laughs> yeah. come, come stay in the guest house, and we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah uh -huh. absolutely. Anytime. You should just show well, up well, with a bunch of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> like a pack of white claw magnums. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah. The Bendis household isn't ready for the supple boys. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Uh, Ryan Michael. Yes, um, sir. I see all that Superior Spider-Man goodness behind you there. I'm going to blow there's you up so I can see more specifically. There's, there's what... a little bit. There's a little bit. So, Why won't uh, this work? Oh, there it is. Sweet. So right. I think I've showed these before, but for a Superior uh, Day, they're coming back. Sweet. My Stanley 700 mm. Ditko. It's mm -hmm. a good one. So, that uh, I got this at his farewell tour when he was uh, doing his last appearance in New York Comic Con. I had him sign that. I uh, regretted having him not sign my Skyline, so I ended up buying this one off eBay. And what's really dope is, I think I've showed this before, but Stanley signed over Todd <laughs> McFarlane. <laughs> <laughs> so if you look at one angle you can yeah. see the metallic todd mcfarlane but if you go from another angle it's just black stanley it's amazing. So, uh and the story goes i want to believe it i don't care if it's fake i want to believe it that uh stan saw it, only todd had signed it and the guy kind of like pointed to a different area and stan goes nah i'm signing over todd and then the last of the triplet, a Stanley Superior. Uh, that's oh, awesome. Wow. Nice. That's awesome. See, so you had to bring that. Where was that in New York? You should have brought it down for old Mr. Stegman to sign, too. Uh, that that has not left the house since I got it. None of these have left the house <laughs> since I've gotten them. Um, there are some I'm very afraid. I would have, like, a Jay-Z Beyonce escort with me if nah, these ever left yeah. the house again. So, <laughs> uh, But then I got, Good. this is by the triple team, so I got Stegman, Slot. Delgado, I got all the namesakes. Okay. You got um, one. Yeah. And my favorite issue of Superior, because everyone knows I love twenty ninety nine, is seventeen. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, those were those were really fun too. I yeah. really enjoyed those. Yeah. In fact, have you ever noticed, um, Ryan, Todd McFarlane did the Spider Man Spawn uh yeah. cover for the uh for the comics guide that kinda looks familiar. Yeah, we so. we were kind of laughing about it being a, sw a Todd Todd having swiped me, but I, I think it was probably his parallel thought. But <laughs> if he did, I'm honored. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I would, if you're, if, if, if that's the one person who can see Spawn and Venom. Oh, and the last time yeah. I saw <laughs> uh, is the this is the promotional print. Oh, wow. So this is the print they came out at New York Comic Con oh. when they announced the uh, Stegosaurus. So. so we were all at that, <laughs> at that panel when uh, we went downstairs in the dark and gritty and everything. Oh, yeah. I was one of the people. I was one of the that. So I, I was enjoying everyone else. 
getting brought up. I, you know, I think uh, Kevin Smith said, you know, it's not a big deal. It's comic books. And then Kevin yeah. Smith said the same thing. He's like, guys, it's all middle. Like, there's no third act of comics. Like, <laughs> chill out, guys. He's coming yeah. back. So. <laughs> I uh, I went to that panel in New York, and that was the first, like, I had never been on a panel that size ever, yeah. anything like that. And nobody told me it was going to be like that. They're just like, you want to do the Spider-Man panel? I'm like, sure. And I walked in, and they have that light blaring in your eyes in the New York one. I mean, <laughs> it had, it was packed. Yeah. And I was crapping my pants. I remember I <laughs> answered one question, and uh, I started stammering, and I was like, so yeah, at the end of it. And then Steve leans over to me, and he's like, great job. <laughs> <laughs> i only ever did one spider-man panel in san diego and uh i swore it would be my last one i ever did it, it almost it almost ruined me for comics well at the last, at C2, this last c2e2 i thought that there was there was going to be like a riot oh yeah were yelling at us about uh, at cb about mary jane uh, yeah yeah that I, one was uh, good it was a lot. Uh, it was like one... several back to back to back comments about the marriage and the relationship, and I was like, mm -hmm. "Wow, this crowd's not letting go, huh?" Well, the point so when when I was on the panel, uh, it was at that period where Mary Jane was like in Iron Man, right, and, right, and so that mm -hmm. made them even angrier. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember one guy standing up, uh, just dressed in like kind of video game military garb cosplaying some kind of character just like a middle-aged dude just shaking with rage <laughs> at, like why is mary jane there she should be with peter parker you should all be ashamed of yourself i wonder if this is this sounds like the same guy that came to this panel that cb and i did there's so many of them Christ. there's so many. i was at a spider-man one one year it was the year before spider-verse came out so uh, it's because Superior had just come out and stuff, and we were talking about different costumes, or someone else was talking about different costumes. When I got to do the Q and A at the mic, I just said, you know, who's everyone's favorite version of Spider-Man since there's been a few now, and you could see Dan Slott salivating, just salivating <laughs> that he knows what's coming. Like bitches, if you like the thirty you have, you're getting a hundred more next month. Like, like he was just salivating. So it was That's it was good. really cool. Oh my god. This um this person that said that they were six when Superior started, JP Awesome says Chip's Daredevil was the first comic I read and Venom was my first omnibus. Oh wow. Yeah. Daredevil my Daredevil is the gateway to your Venom comics, right? <laughs> the pipeline is real. Yeah, that's the Daredevil what I Venom say. pipeline. Odd. They don't um, even meet. That's weird. So, guys, while we don't have a lot of people in, I was hoping I could maybe share a video of a project some of us have been working on. Sure. Sure. All right. By all means. I mean, it's not pornography, is it? <laughs> all right. So I'll show you next time after I edit it. I'm just... <laughs> it's my thoughts yeah, on man. January 6th. Hit play. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. So it should be in the uh, backstage yeah. if you can, when you yeah. can. Let's see. Oh, my God. Did, did you click share sound? Uh, is that on my end or is that? No, I think it would be wrong. Brian Michael's end. I, I, I'm not sharing sound. Yeah, I don't think we can hear it. I don't, I don't know why. Hold on. Oh no. Stop sharing. Share again. Uh, some screenshots let you share audio. Share audio click box. I thought I did that. My bad. Oh. Chip is oh, eating this I got up. you. This, got is, the this, is, this you. is the superior, Brian, <laughs> is what I hear. The, the okay, tech, share entire screen, screen two. Here we go. My bad. All right, all right. Oh, shit. Oh, Warning. Shit. The following is a spoiler-filled after show for the comic book Vanish. If you are not caught up on the issue we are discussing, please come back after picking up the comic and supporting its creative team. This is already, this is already incredible. incredible. In the mistlands of Everkeep, a war was fought. A war which has now come here to our world. Magical beings walk amongst us. Are they here to save this world or destroy it? Our hosts have been following Venice since its conception, and now we will be discussing each issue and filling you in on our thoughts and insider knowledge. 
Join us as we explore this new series from creators Ryan Stegman and Donnie Cates. Welcome to the Ravens of Everkeep! <laughs> Oh, oh, hell, hell yeah. yeah. That's, That's awesome. awesome. So, Sunday, I'm getting ready to record a show with my friends, and my brother goes, sweet Mary God, what in the birds is happening? I look to my window, <laughs> and there are, I don't know, 3,000 crows outside in my backyard. <laughs> so, it, it was a sign. So, uh, a few hours after that, me, Daniel here, Abigail Mendoza, and Meech, the Rogue Jedi, recorded the first episode of The Ravens of Everkeep, where we talked about episode one, kind of doing a director's cut of everything we've learned from the streams, everything that, you know, over the year that was relevant to issue one, we brought it back and put it in one episode. So uh, we're yeah, going to be no, posting sweet. that. Yeah, oh, the sorry. episode goes live right after the stream is over. Oh, oh my awesome. God. Oh, awesome. Very cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> you guys are going to have to sh post this on the on KLC. So. Yeah, we will. We will. And so we're catching up nice. and we're trying to get, you know, close to the release of episode of issue five. And then from there, we'll just do like as they come out. Oh, yeah. well, I it's just started awesome. out. But, I'm sorry. Uh, the, the FOC for issue five was yesterday, so it should be out on the site very soon. That's true. Very soon. Yeah, I made sure to put my orders in at my local shop, so... We'll ask Mr. John J. Hill for that dot .pdf as soon as he can. Um, that's awesome, guys. Yeah, please yeah, you know, drop the links really all over the that. Discord, and we'll uh, we'll drop the link in um, chain mail this Friday. I, I just uh, uh, tweeted out and tagged uh, all you guys involved uh, what the video I just showed you, and then we'll go ahead and uh, tweet out the link to the video. It's going to live on Danny's YouTube channel for now. Because uh, it was short, well, short of it, it was his idea, and he's got the most followers. So Dan, uh, <laughs> Danny's putting it I mean, on his channel. Uh, I'm no Ryan Stegman, but you know I got a few. <laughs> and and uh, I, I want to. It was a very fir uh, fun first episode, and uh, I don't think I've said this yet. So publicly, let me say, Danny, you did a great job hosting the video. So thank you, dude. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing it, guys. We'll do all kinds of stuff to help you promote it. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hope you guys dig it. Uh, it was a, a labor of love. Each and, yeah. I think the weirdest thing is, though, just, I mean, I've been hanging out with you guys for a year now, so it's like, it's just a little odd when I'm telling stories about our hangouts. It's, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. it's really, it's awkward, me, really awkward to trash the book. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know you guys know well. yeah. That's not great. That's yeah. not great. <laughs> well, I'm going to, I'm going to try and rotate some, some more folks in here, but I wanted to ask, I know we haven't really talked to, to Steve quite yet either. Hey Steve, what's up, man? Hey um, guys. Do uh, either of you have anything um, for Ryan or Chip while he's here, uh, or if you have any Superior Spider-Man or Vanish-related stuff you want to chat about before I cycle in the next couple folks? Yeah, I can. Uh, I can show the Vanish page that just came. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Let's see. It. <laughs> Maybe it's the one I stepped on. Who knows? Nah, no <laughs> footmarks on this one. Let's see. So, okay. oh, awesome. oh, damn. That's cool. I wanted it because of that top panel. That's yeah, cool. that's a good that's one. Cool. Yeah. That's sweet. Oh, yeah. That's sweet. Chip, what do you yeah. think? That's, you know what? I'm just going to say it. It's great. Thanks, <laughs> great. <Chip. laughs> I, have the, uh, I have the inks, too. So, hold on. Yeah, let's see it. Some great uh, JPEGs. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Damn. Mm. Really cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So, Ryan, for, for your pages, um, mm -hmm. did you... Let me pull it back up again. Did you... Um, you know, you usually do the digital the digital um, blue lines. Mm -hmm. Did you... It looks like you did them by hand this time. Is that correct? Uh, the digital... It depends. So, should, so like on your absolute carnage page that I have, you could tell it was like a digital layout. Uh huh. Uh, and then you penciled over it. Yeah, I think that one. I I think that I I did a this digital one looks like layout. Blue pencil. And then I did blue pencil like so I did less of a like the layout was a lot a lot looser. Then I did blue pencil over that to get the actual forms of everything in. Uh, so the perspective I did digital 
you know, I got it all set up and then I, and then I did all the drawing on there. Just a, gotcha. my process changes every five seconds. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. And you uh, had that, I like your signature on the top of the pages now. The oh, printed signature, like, uh, you know, like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like it's my own brand of paper. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, do you guys have anything else before I uh, get, looks like AJ and Sean and Brandon. Yeah, Chip, I think I'm, Chip I'm loving your, I'm loving right. Stillwater. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah. I just, what, you have one, I just, one issue left, right? Yeah. Yeah. I just wrote the, uh, the farewell letter for the letters page. Oh, nice. And maybe, oh, nice. maybe tear up a bit. Oh, nice. wow. Can't wait. And, uh, Let's yeah, I'm loving your, right loving your camera. Daredevil run too. Right now. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. I'm enjoying oh, he's that so a lot. emotional. Chip, you can oh, see speaking of the Daredevil, how did the crossover with the Punisher <laughs> stuff came about? Like, uh, it, it came about because I was in one of the big kind of Marvel meetings um, where everyone talked about their story, and uh, Jason kind of ran everyone through what he was going to do with the Punisher. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. I, I want to fuck actually... that up for you. Yeah, I want to fuck <laughs> that up for you. I was like, oh, I've been, I've been, I've been building towards some hand stuff. Some hand stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you want to get together on that? Uh, yeah, yeah. So after after that uh, that retreat, um, I just started talking to him because it was in a different office, which made it a little awkward because like Tom Brevoort was the editor on Punisher and Devin uh, Lewis was on Daredevil. Right. So we had to coordinate um, our stories, and uh, I just kind of created one big document where I kind of broke down my whole story issue by issue. And lined it up with uh, his Punisher story, um, just to make sure that we weren't contradicting and, and, and in some places kind of helping each other out a bit. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and, that document, if anybody wants it. Yeah, yeah, please. When you get to I that, actually do. When you get to the end of Volume One, and then Daredevil shows up, like, like I sh like it's kind of natural that he shows up, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've, they've got history. I, I love writing like Daredevil Punisher scenes. Mm. Um, I always think Punisher works best as uh, as a guy that shows up in other people's stories. Like yeah. I don't know if he necessarily works as strongly. I mean, except when Jason's writing him, because Jason is the best at everything. Um, but he's 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 super tragic and like and he's nuts. So uh, having him <laughs> just kind of show up and really showcase that, uh, I think is a lot of fun. I have an idea mm -hmm. for the Punisher that I want to share. Oh, great! So. The mob shows up. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the whole idea. <laughs> <laughs> and Frank Castle is not having it. Yeah. He's the mob Frank Castle, got... <laughs> he realizes he could have been cashing in on a whole lot of bumper sticker money by now. The mob <laughs> got superpowers. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Super mob. Super mob. Well, before I go, uh, I, also, I just want to say... I have the... uh, oh, no, oh, go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead, Steve. No, 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 oh. no go ahead. Okay, I was, I was just, gonna say while just... we're talking while we're talking about Daredevil. <laughs> Sorry, mm -hmm. Ryan. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Let's Daredevil. I have. The, oh, uh, hey, I yeah, this, Marco. I got that from uh, Marco at New York Comic Con. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome. so yeah. great. Wait. He does hair the best, I think, out of anyone. I know, I know. Yeah, today they released. I guess Hasbro's putting out an action figure of yep. Electro's Daredevil, and that's like great. the hair is the hair is just like you just can't do that hair in physical form. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the couple things that have come out physically with that character it just looks, in my eyes, uh, ridiculous. I actually don't think I've ever seen a photo of Marco. Is he is he as handsome as all of his characters are? Does he have luscious <laughs> hair, or is or is it all just like wish fulfillment? Or no, he's he's got he's got luscious hair. Like he okay. like like for the most part, like, he kind of wears it back and just kind of like. It always seems kind of wet and luxurious as it cascades. It seems Italian. Very nice. Very nice. He's Italian. Yeah, I don't want to stereotype, okay. but he's Italian. I think you can. I think you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick, on behalf of a friend that's not going to join us on stream, Jamie said, uh, "No makeup, so staying in this chat." Hi guys, love my page nineteen, Ryan, and she wants to let you know that she still misses Deacon. All right. Don't we'll we see all? If we can get him back in there. We'll see. <laughs> Ryan's gonna, we, you know, magic. work his magic. Work his magic. It was good. Danny and I, same page. Uh, there's a couple of other things here. Um, 
Scoot is in the chat. Uh, and Tyler, who is in the green room here, says, remember when the whole Spider-Man forum came to confront CB at that panel? Yes. Yes, I do remember that. <laughs> Boy. Oh, yeah, you guys did, do. did I ever tell you, Ryan, the, uh, the advice that uh, Dan Slot gave me when I started writing Spider-Man? No, what was it? Don't. He said, uh, he's, <laughs> well, there's that. But he said, um, um, don't uh, post and argue with people in the Spider-Man message board. And I was like, post? I wouldn't even read it. What are you doing? Because <laughs> he, yeah. he had a period in his life where he would just like go there and like mm -hmm. engage in like, you know, day long arguments with people. I'm like, That's insane. <laughs> yes, that is a that is extremely slot. I think that, it, you know, a massive in, in the end, Twitter becoming a toxic hellhole was good for Dan. Yeah. So he could get away from it. Yeah. Yeah. He's probably 10 times more productive. Um, I'm going to cycle in some new folks, but Ryan, Michael, you have something before you go, you said. Yeah, I want to say to Chip, obviously, I'm a huge fan of your writing, obviously, but I just also really oh, enjoyed man. your recent episode of um, you, you were on The Marvelous with my friend Peter Melnick. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, uh, that was fun. You had a really good episode where uh, your old buddy Joe K, uh, Joe Casada came by. So that was really cool. And yeah, listening to you guys banner was fun. Goddamn Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, last, I just want to show these off because um, I got back into comic books for Averse X. The marketing was so good. But it was really superior. That made me love yeah, comic books again. Nice. So this oh, runs, cool. this, yeah, this runs the whole gamut of uh, where Ryan started to where, what blew him up. So I just love these covers. Mm, Two of the best awesome. commissions I ever got in my whole life for sure. So thank you, absolutely. That's awesome. Thank I can't you guys wait for, for the having me year, on uh, the ten year reader the reader stream. I can't wait. Yeah, <laughs> next year. I love it's reading. It's coming. So. It's coming. Um, well, sweet guys. Well. Uh, I'm sure you guys can can uh, hang out a little bit and pop back in later, um, but we're gonna cycle in the other guys here real quick. So we'll talk yeah, I'll, to you. I'll, I'll pop back in when I win this sketch, you know. So like we can do it on air, you know. <laughs> Absolutely, man. All right, we'll talk to you guys. Wishful in thinking. A bit. All right. I gotta guys. say, this is a pretty ridiculous later. sketch. So you got to manifest. <laughs> awesome. Manifest um, the win. I'm, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take off too. Uh, uh, once again, congrats, Ryan, on all your successes. Chip, uh, it was good to talk to you. We haven't talked in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should we should do a nice catch up. Uh, we'll we'll private phone call. All right, fine. You got we'll it. Private. Well, private um, without you know, Ethan Griffin. No, they have to. They have to be yeah, there. I was contractually. Contractually, yeah. I was literally. Yeah, I was yeah. literally we're gonna. Was we're gonna, gonna just to about to say it and make it a post. Yeah, I was just about to say we've talked to you more than literally anyone else today, and that it was a delight, that is true. But I, I yeah, I can retract that statement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, I, I should actually get some work done today instead of talking to you. So, bye, bye, <laughs> bye. God, that son of a AJ bitch. is here, Hello. Sean is here. The chocolate supple. Andy. Is here. <laughs> the choice <I> okay. <laughs> okay. Gonna, approved. We made we made room, so I am gonna try and get these these remaining two. Brandon is here. Maybe maybe he's frozen. I don't know. He keeps coming in and out. Uh and Tyler Genist. Oh my. Tyler. I miss you, buddy. <laughs> I miss you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. We just, there's some really, really awesome things happening in Tyler Janessa's world. You guys might have read about, read about some of them. Uh, and, and of course the Supple Boys are busy, so the three of us have not been able to <laughs> talk. That group like, chat, though, that group chat's popping, man. <laughs> Every now I want to have a group chat. You okay, put me fine. Group chat. We'll have, like, but right. that means you have like the, the two different ones, and I hope you know that. I'm just yeah. Then we're it. still gonna I'll have the other one. It. I'll just be in it to uh, be get mad at you guys for texting me too much. You know, that one guy that like just yeah. does the reactions like thumbs up occasionally, like a thumbs down occasionally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> who, who all is in this? Uh, it's me and Ethan and Tyler. Just the three yeah. supples. Oh, you yeah. said I'll be. The, sorry, okay. there there are four now. I'm I'm so sorry, Sean. We'll we'll put you in the next supple chat. Yeah, I appreciate you in realizing that. Tyler. We'll have to Thank discuss you. the process of just anointing yourself a supple. Uh, oh no, he's in. 
He's in. So that was the process. That's it. Yeah. Well, welcome, everybody. It's so good to see you guys. Um, AJ, you've been popping off in the in the Discord, uh, just he dropping has, stuff man. left and right. Yeah, uh, it's been really awesome to see. Thank you. Really good stuff you're getting in there. Doing these like quick thirty minute sketches. They've just been fun to do in between all of my uh classes and work so it's sweet man well that's the way that's the way to do it i think ryan segman would agree um and yeah, sean absolutely. great to see you. i feel like sean we've like barely been able to have you on the stream because you keep popping in super late and then we're like oh shit we gotta go we don't have time yeah. to talk to sean. <laughs> <laughs> no, i'm happy i got to make this one actually i've just been working as a like a mad lad recently but i got to make this one so i'm really happy about it because I saw a lot of people say it in the chat, but like this was one of the comics that got me back into comics. So mm -hmm. it, it's good to make it this one. Plus, I got the segment Ghost Rider stuff here Let that I see. always brag about. Don't worry about that alcohol there. Ignore it. And then <laughs> I have the um, the hardcover of uh, Superior Spider-Man that Ryan signed for me. I'm trying to Ooh. blow you up Ooh. here. There you go. Man, yeah, that's Ooh. sweet. Because I see... I can't do the whole like CGC like locking it up like that's why I like that he signed a hardcover because I can always read it and I can always stare at it and I can always stunt on people that he signed it. And I <laughs> it. So absolutely, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I think the the omnibus is coming out this year, right? On, in I, May or something. I think it is, yeah. but I don't care because I have all the hardcovers, and plus this one is signed, <laughs> so this one this is this the one that that's matters. Do it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, Ryan. I might have to. I might have to steal your your comp when it comes in. That one's gonna be pretty sweet. My uh, he won't even know it's gone. Son, He'll lose it immediately. He'll just a... throw it in the office, and it just it's gone. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, okay, I think I might be lagging now. Very cool. Oh, this is good. This is good. See, I got I got greedy. I tried getting more people in here. And now look what I've done. You're full. It looks like a Later. Super Nintendo drawing, but it still looks bomb, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those pixels are immaculate. Yes, man. I like it. 16 bit? Woo! Oh, that like that good Minecraft mod. Like you, you found it online, you downloaded it, it failed the first time, you download it again, you put it in the right directory this time. <laughs> Well, um, Ryan's, Ryan's stream quality could be an omen. We talked about having to get out of here within uh, pretty close to the hour. We could go ahead and raffle this baby off. I think we we could. I don't know how much how much Ryan is uh, thinking he's going to be doing to this. Uh, is he doing the? Are you doing the webs in the background, sir? Uh, can you? Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> Did Ryan just purr? He did. He did. Ryan Stegcat, is that you? That's that Arsky just brings out something in him. Man, right? That's going to be my text notification in like the next couple seconds. There, there we go. go. There's, the, there's the star of the now. show. Hey, guys. Um. All right. Well, We're going to keep trucking here. Andy Sweet, what are you reading over there? Oh, I'm reading my favorite volume of, of Superior Spider-Man. The last one. <laughs> All over. Finally over. Oh this my is, god. He's this, is the way to a, this is the way yeah. to end the anniversary with zero act <laughs> involved in production of mm. Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm pretty sure Ryan's not even in this one. So. <laughs> yeah, no, we played the All the readers. readers. That's what it where Peter finally comes back and he makes a North wearing man. I'm like, that's comedy golf, right? It's you know, I recently I, I went back through some archives of the old the podcast that started all the series that we did. Uh, I found I found the original email thread that Ryan decided he wanted to do an interview for the show. And then uh, uh, some words, and uh, everyone was 
was like, it was, it was pretty good. It was a good movie. And I think it was Christos Gage who helped co write some of that stuff. Yeah. He was, he was pretty proud to say that that man purse line is one of his. So there you Classic. go. Like most it people, like, it was, the, it was the run that got me aware of, like, oh, comics are happening. Comics are like a thing that old people read. They're still going on. Because uh, <laughs> the channel Variant Comics posted about, it, like, oh my God, Otto Octavius is. Spider-Man now, and I'm like, huh? What's happening? Because I only knew comics from like the TV shows and the movies, so mm. I'm like, oh, there's actually comics, actual physical comics that like come out every week. I didn't know that. Any of your parents? Granted, I, I was your 11 when it here? came out. Okay. No, not at all. No. Wow. I'm hmm, a so for every sole is... comic lover in this household. Uh, I so think for everyone was, who had it be yeah. like their, for everyone who had it be their first big comic, like um, it was first like disposable income purchase. Was anyone off by the like random Age of Ultron tie-in issue that completely <laughs> broke up the like the pace and the cliffhanger and everything? Yeah, it's like sixteen dot AU or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Let's like it was a cliffhanger with Spider Man looking at a, down a gun at somebody, and you're like, "Oh shit, what's gonna happen?" And then it just cuts away to like Spider Man's actually over here fighting all these robots, and like I didn't know what an event book was, and I almost, right. almost never got, it. and that pissed me off so bad. <laughs> can I say? Can I say you were you were. Uh, accusing me of, of having poor internet, and I was trying to tell you it's StreamYard's fault. I feel like everyone has had a StreamYard issue this time. It's failing <laughs> everyone. We're putting too many people on screen. Oh fuck! I know I got greedy. I got greedy. You, you absolute fuck. Well, AJ, Brandon, Andy, and I already have like an uphill battle. Because how do you top? what ryan michael danny and I abigail know, right? are doing like i feel like we have to sacrifice somebody for chip now just the one up there, dude. i say we make our own podcast that's better than theirs just to yeah you should them. just do another vanish podcast and we'll just compete and make the best It'll podcast be win. called the yeah. better vanish podcast that's what oh, we're that's a great title <laughs> yeah he's back oh Hi, daddy. daddy oh my god hey. more like Hi, daddy, Hi, daddy. My uh, computer actually, what happened was the battery ran out because I was headed on such a high <laughs> high resolution level. There's this thing called a charger you plug your computer into. It kind of helps defeat. It is It is plugged in. It actually ran oh, through a 100% charge. Oh, my God. Good Lord. Wow. Yeah. Plugged in. Yep. That's crazy. But I didn't have, the, I don't think I, I have like the iPad charger on it. instead. I should have the regular one. I bet it would be fine. Anyway, I'm here. From this I... beautiful angle that makes me look really <laughs> weird. <laughs> was was your name always Rye Daddy, or did you deliberately do that for this stream? I just did it just now. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh my god, it's beautiful. Oh, man. Who's that? All right, I am gonna put. We we can auction it off because I think that. Uh, yeah. The supples seem to think that they have um, lives or something. Uh, <laughs> but um, we can. Uh, we, I'll, I'm gonna still put webs in um, before we send it out. Sweet. Great. Yeah, you ready to find well, out who won this thing? Sure. Ethan has the name. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of a drum roll. I'm excited to say that we know exactly how old this person was when Superior Spider-Man came out because they're in the chat. <laughs> oh. They're they're nine years old. Uh, Aiden Barrett is our big winner tonight. Congratulations, Yay. Aiden. Hey, that's Let's awesome. Go. Rarely have it, the person here. Yeah. I'm going to hang it up right beside my cable watching. commission. Wait, Aiden's, Aiden's actually in the oh, is that talking you? to us? Yeah. I'm here. Oh, I didn't know that. You had a different name on there. That's cool. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, my name's Aiden. <laughs> that's awesome. Wait, your name's not AJ? No, well, my middle name is Aiden. Yeah, no, that's not my name. <laughs> my my first name's Aiden. My middle name's Jeremy, so I just do AJ. Okay. Now, fuck, AJ. Aiden, um, this is worth a lot of money, and you can <laughs> sell it. Look, I, I haven't sold the cable one, and that's been on my wall for eight oh, years. Oh, yeah, that's you. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I remember, Aiden. I yeah. ain't selling that. No way. The way you, just, you, the way you uh, tell them to not sell it is you write to Aiden on it, so it's useless to anyone besides someone named Aiden. 
Uh, no, okay I'd be happy that. if he sold it. Uh, Danny I want everybody to get rich. Danny says that. Yeah. Pay for college. Uh, now you gotta send Stegman a uh, Superior Spider-Man sketch. That's the way it works. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to, yeah, I'll have to get figure to that it. out between my uh, my three jobs and full-time student. But yeah, I can figure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Amen, brother. You'll find the time. Amen. <laughs> You'll find the time. Um, well, did anyone want to, you know, have any any more final thoughts on the Superior Spider-Man, or if you want to ask Ryan anything, or if you just want to share what you've been up to since we last got to speak? I'd love to hear it. Mm-hmm. Put us nobody on spot, nobody wants to. Well, Everybody's so devastated the they didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit, understandably little bit. so. Yeah. Understandably so. Yeah. I well, I know, I know what. I, what's up, Andy? I'll say this, Ryan. What was the most intimidating part about Superior Spider-Man? Because I feel like this big jump, like, oh, you're getting rid of Peter Parker with Otto Octavius. I feel like that has to be like a pretty scary thing. Like, were you scared of the backlash you'd receive? Like, because I know, like, didn't Dan receive some death threats over it? Yeah, no, so that, that I mean, Dan got all the, the brunt of it. I got none of it. I mean, he courted it a little bit, you know, not death threats, but he definitely was, like, enjoying the sort of the heel, the wrestling heel aspect of all of it. Um, so I wasn't really, honestly, because I had done, bo- you know, books that, I mean, people cared about them, but they weren't, like, the biggest deal in comics. Um so I had no, I, I was not fr- scared at all. I think now if I did it, I'd be like, oh my God, this is going to be insane. But really, I, it was like the day it came out, I just was watching Twitter and I was like, oh my God, like this is insane. Like uh, I, I had never had a response like that. So I didn't know that it was even possible. Um, so yeah, I learned a lot uh, in that moment but yeah no i i wasn't scared i was scared of doing a spider-man number one just because like how many people get to say that and you know that 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 mcfarlane spider-man number one was such a seminal moment in my life um so i was like the thing that i guess the thing that i was most concerned about was i had to nail that first issue cover i had mm-hmm. like i had to have the you know the most iconic spider-man shot i could come up with at that point in my career um, because I knew that I I knew that that was um, going to be everywhere, and so I was really nervous about that. I probably did like you know a million layouts. I, I even like when normally I don't have a lot of color notes, but when I I colored my layout, I sent that in. I had I was like super picky about the the final, and it all paid off. So this was the cover, yeah. right? A covered issue one. I know this is the trade, but that's the cover, isn't it? Mm-hmm. The uh, where he's crouched. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. yeah Wait, what you, oh, yeah, okay. I, can't, I have to trade because fuck single issues and shit Ooh. like that. Hot Whoa. take. Big call. Uh, <laughs> except except for Vanish. By every, by every issue of that, I will say that. All right. And yeah. I'm going to buy the trade. So you're, I'm double dipping now. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. You don't have to do that. But please <laughs> oh, do. Oh, no, I have, I have to. It's, it's all for the bookshelf. All for the bookshelf. That's Ryan, the most important thing. Ryan, we got a question here from Ryan Pratt. Was a part of you bummed that you got called up to ASM just for them to change the name and it wasn't even technically Peter Parker you were writing? Or were drawing, no, sorry. Not at all. Not at all. Um I my favorite thing about Spider Man is not just Peter Parker, but it's the whole supporting cast. Uh and how they all take care of each other and um you know, like that's there's like a family aspect to the book that is what really resonates with me. Uh, and so they were all still in it. So I was drawing, you know, J. Jonah Jameson and Mary Jane and, uh, you know, Robbie Robertson and all those, the, the Aunt May, you know, I got to do all those things that, um, that I, the characters that I love and, you know, the Peter, the ghost of Peter was there. So, uh, I mean, no, once I heard the story, I was like, because, I mean, I kind of found out about Superior Spider-Man and the story all in one sitting, essentially. And so I was just stoked at how good of a story I thought it was and how excited I was to draw it. So you already knew how it was going to end before, like, you signed on. I knew 
I mean, Dan had everything. You, you were Griffin was talking about when he, um, when he kills, uh, him the second time in issue nine. Mm-hmm. And I still remember Dan just like the way that he was describing. It. You know, he saw it. He's got his hands up and he's like, and then, <laughs> you know, he, he like does the whole this like dramatic reading of it, and I was just like, oh my god! And I remember I looked at Cullen Cullen Bun when he was uh, d- when Dan was describing this, and he's like, yeah, I know, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um. I got a couple more things over here. Daniel Mitchell says it was the Soul Peter Parker title. It was, uh, it, I just finished it again and loved it even more. And That's great. Uh, uh, Ryan Michael and Danny both agree that the issue one cover is, in fact, iconic. Um, I think Superior was when. And just Stegman's art as a whole. I think that's when I really just started paying more attention to art than story. Not saying the story was bad, but I just got more focused on what, what is that? <laughs> what Someone, someone's got some like a gerbil or something in there. Like, <laughs> is it like a vocoder here somewhere? <laughs> something, I don't know. But yeah, um, I think Superior for sure was when I just started focusing more on art and. Right. It was just like, okay, this is fire. I need more of this. And then I went and got like some of the Remender Venom stuff that you've done. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that's when I started fangirling more for like Stegman art. And I wanted just a lot more of that. So it, it, it became me buying single issues, not even for the stories, but just more so like, I want to see what else this crazy bastard draws because this shit is fire. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, no, Edgar's uh, colors too. Oh my god! Like, there's something about the yeah. way that Edgar colored, and also how Frank color, colors you now. But like, certain colorists can really make an artist just pop. Yeah, Edgar. Edgar has done a couple covers for me lately, and I'm like, why? Why haven't we been doing stuff? I don't. <laughs> because he did those those Carnage Reigns covers that I've done. Mm-hmm. Oh, you haven't. Mm-hmm. You guys haven't even seen the second one yet. So. Mm-mm. Um. Yeah. I mean, hard not to be so in love with the art when obviously you know. Ryan is popping off and coming to it into his own in a whole new way on that book, and and then you're bouncing back and forth between him and Umberto and mm-hmm. Giuseppe coming Coley is just like it's just nonstop great shit, and they're all bringing such a different you know style to it. Obviously, those are three pretty different dudes, and I think all three of you guys were matched up just so perfectly with each script that Dan was turning in. Um, Griffin, shut up. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'll say something else. Uh, hard disagree. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, that was also, this is, this will be the end of the, this will be my last story, but so I was used to like a certain profile at conventions. Like I didn't know what it was like to be, you know, uh, you know, a known artist. I, I probably had still almost been paying for my own tables at shows, you know, and uh, I walked into New York Comic Con with not thinking much of anything, like thinking, oh, this will be interesting, you know, because, you know, this is a big book. And there was a line so long that I, I almost like fainted. I was like, <laughs> what is what am I supposed to do with this? I can't do I can't do anything with this many people. And uh, I sat there and I, I had severe back pain after that because I just sat there and <laughs> drew and drew and drew. It was just like, I don't know what's going on. It was crazy. <laughs> All right, there it is. There it Got is. the webs oh, and everything. Man. Oh, oh, wow. That's a <laughs> Damn you, AJ. The sketch is good. That's great. I'll sell it to the highest bidder. Uh, we're about to offer <laughs> it on the whatnot style. A- AJ, AJ can have 50%. <laughs> I'm just okay. kidding. Just Come kidding. He's, he's getting wait, which, wait, which which half? Uh. Of the, yeah, half of the drawing. I'm just going to cut it, cut it in half. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> We're starting it off. Danny's in the chat with three dollars. All right, done. Done. Oh, that was easy. Seems good. Ryan said he 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 wants a he wants a small black coffee from Starbucks. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. (laughs) All right. Um, got Venmo or something. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much, everybody, for coming to hang out uh, this evening and to. 
celebrate this anniversary of the Superior Spider-Man with us, with Ryan Stegman. And uh, like we said, you know, we're, uh, we're thinking about it. We're trying to maybe arrange something for a potential discussion with the aforementioned dance lot. We'll see if we can make it happen. Obviously, we'd be so excited to bring that to you guys. So stay tuned uh, to see if that hits your KLC Press uh, newsfeed, your inbox anytime soon. Um, but until then, we'll have, of course, a bunch more stuff. Vanish number five, as Ryan mentioned earlier, FOC done in the can. So that means the PDF, the digital version for KLC Press subscribers is going to be coming out real soon. So if you want to read Vanish number five early and you're not already subscribed to klcpress.com, what are you doing? Change that. You can go and subscribe. And you can read it pretty much like two weeks early. <laughs> Having a good time. And I agree, Oli. I'm a very handsome man here. We're talking about spider Hi, Oli. Hard not to be. <laughs> um, guys, thank you so much once again. Thanks, Ryan, for your time. And look yeah. how close his head is to that ceiling. He looks like a giant in that room. <laughs> He's so oh, tall. <laughs> how tall uh, <laughs> is he? And thank you, everybody, to uh, who has been watching and been in the chat. And I hear there's a Vanish After Show podcast starting up pretty soon that you all should be uh, should be checking out. So keep your eyes peeled on all our socials for those links and such that we're going to be sending out. Um, but thank you so much once again, and stay superior. How's that? Oh shit! Oh wow! Okay. That. Okay. Yeah. How is like that? Good? That was a good ending. <laughs>